1980, just as hip hop became hip hop, Raina Ray disappeared and no one knows anything about her. Today's gonna be the big day. Hell yeah, Al. Today's the day Royce becomes the most popular lounge in Manhattan. It's time to do it old school, cause yo, we're on a mission. Yeah, I'll drop out the beat so they can the exposition. Here's a little story that must be told about a Puerto Rican brother 24 years old. He's our boy Alejandro and he owns this place. He loves this spot like he loves his own face. A superstar with a bar. The sphinx of mixed drinks. Second bar so fast, I wonder where he thinks. See, he lives upstairs and he works down here. And I ain't seen him out this building in like half a year. For real, I do don't leave. Molly went out, no bandana on her, and she painted her name. She was old and unmistakable. It's almost like she wanted to get caught. Police! Police! And then she got caught. Drop the can, stay right there, put your hands on the wall. You're like two steps behind, son. Should be up to frisking me already. That in hip hop's earliest days, there was a Boricua who could rock a microphone in English and Spanish with only herself as her DJ and no one's ever heard of her, and that's tragic, but at the same time, that's astoundingly awesome. And okay, I'm getting overexcited and ahead of myself, and okay, I'll stop. Al. Yo, Al. Al. Oh, Get yeah. your mind out of your food, son. You got a customer. What do you think about sushi? Man, stop with that shit. That's all he does, Ma. I tell him, though. I tell him that shit kills you, then you're dead, and nobody outside your little circle even remembers you. You know what has four thumbs and is hip hop history? This guy and this guy. The Trip Nail Cartel. You know, you might actually have better luck with the ladies in your bar at home. Mm, you know, you actually had some ladies in your bar. <laughs> Stop talking about it. Yo, she's like our best customer, but she never buys a drink. And walking in on the two of them, staring all Google face? Better than Dawson's Creek. Wouldn't have you pay for Dawson's Creek, man. Yo, we cried when it went off the end. Hey, fuck you, man. I'll take care of you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have found yourself in the hottest watering hole south of Houston Street. My name is Trip Trizzy. This is my partner, Nelly Nail, and we'd like to welcome you to Arroyos. Welcome to Arroyos, where the play is played. We serve a black light from the stripes straight and gay. You can hear the girls sing on Avenue A. Trip Trizzy gets busy like his name was eBay. And we play the narrators. First. <laughs> I don't have nerves. I mean, I have nerves. <laughs> nerves are steel nerves. <laughs>